What up, YouTube? Art the Barber. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how to make this mouse pad easier to maneuver when you're uh, using it on the heat press and uh, fitting it in between your garments. I right, still so need some scissors uh, and obviously a sewing machine. I'll put real quick. It's just some uh, ironing board material that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. Um, you could probably get Yardage Town or whatever your um, local fabric store is. So I think it's like a 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four pad. Flip it over. Get the measurement. I'll make sure you want to overlap it, maybe about an inch or so. Overlap. Take a pen. Just mark a line like this. And this is overlap. Yeah, probably about an inch or so. And it's not going to have to be perfect because what's going to happen is we're going to sew it uh, inside out and then flip it back over. And you'll see from there. And I'm using these scissors. Uh, just so that the material won't fray later on. I picked these up from uh, Joann's as well. And when I purchased this uh, material, I got that little 50% off that you get online. Uh, I get a discount, so I think it was like $10 for the whole yard. So here goes my fabric right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make one stitch, or I'm probably going to do two stitches. I'm going to make a straight line just to outline the uh, mouse pad. See what I did right there. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, go along uh, cut now I kind of want the uh, stitch to be a little bit close actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead on this first one go about half an inch Going reverse and then uh, follow the stitch all the way through. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap, probably about a quarter inch. About a quarter inch. Just have enough clearance so when it when it stitches, I can slide the mouse pad right back in.
It ain't got to be perfect. So actually what I'm going to do is, uh, if you can see along this line, right here I got the line that I made with the pad that I outlined, boom, like that. Anyways, with the foot, I'm going to go along the edge with the foot and my line. So let it go all the way through. Uh, get one of these snips over at Joanne's as well. Anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go right back. Go over and make sure it's done twice. So that way it doesn't unstitch while later on in later on in time. So basically just a double stitch. Now I'm just going to put a little knot, keep it from uh, unraveling, you ain't got to do that though, that's just me. So I'm taking my scissors one more time and all I'm gonna do is just trim it. Not all the way to the stitch, but pretty close. Again, it ain't gotta be perfect because you'll be tucking this in. And I'm gonna do these to my larger um, mouse pads as well. And I uh, purchased these mouse pads from Heat Press Nation. And it's probably like twenty dollars for the set. Anyway, you just take your uh, your material, flip it inside out, and just like that. Pretty simple. Because if you don't already know, trying to slide this in between your um, material, t-shirt, sweater, whatever you're pressing, uh, I guess it'd be a little bit of a hassle. So This right here is just going to allow you to slide it through a lot easier. So you can see it's already hard just to slide it into this. So. Much more easier, much more easy. Once you do this, and you're sliding out of your material a whole lot easier. Boom, just like that. Simple. Now, all you can do is just lock it in. And you don't want to make it all the way to the mouse pad. Probably the foot, the end of the foot's gonna be up against the uh, mouse pad. So, there you go. 
And again, I'm going to go about half an inch and uh, go backwards on my stitch. And one more stitch all the way through. Cut a little bit of extra, just so you can do your little knot, if you cho choose to. I just don't want my thread to unravel, so. Take two of the ends, make it tight. Boom, that's it. Do it like that. Me, I like to cut mine, so I just like the look of it. You can do it with straight scissors or whatever, but this would just keep it from fraying. There it is, that's your uh, mouse pad with um, some ironing board material. Simple and easy. Mm -hmm. Make it a lot more convenient for you uh, when you put it in between your um, shirts, sweaters, whatever. Anyways, Arthur Barber, hope you liked the video. Uh, hopefully it's useful for you. And I'm out.